What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For up-to-the-minute Dodgers news, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Is the Dodgers signing of Cole Hamels nothing, something, or everything? And do you think it'll have an impact on this year's team? I want your takes down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we've got some breaking news to report. The Los Angeles Dodgers have signed free agent left-handed pitcher Cole Hamels. John Heyman was the first to report the story. He tweeted out, breaking, Dodgers closing in on a deal for Cole Hamels. And then Mike DiGiovanna tweeted, can confirm via source that Dodgers are signing veteran left-handed pitcher Cole Hamels to a major league deal. Hamels will report to team's AZ Complex to build up arm strength first. John Heyman was on it. And then Buster only tweeted, Cole Hamels' guarantee for signing his major league deal with the Dodgers is $1 million. And then Bob Nightingale tweeted, Cole Hamels is guaranteed $1 million and will receive $200,000 per start in Dodgers. Deal. So there you have it laid out for you right there. It is a low risk, high reward deal for the Dodgers. So if you remember, Hamels held a showcase in mid July in Texas, and there were over 20 teams at that showcase. So clubs were interested in signing the veteran left handed pitcher. Now, how did that showcase go? Well, he averaged 88.5 miles per hour on his fastball, topping out at 90. Now, in his heyday, he was hitting 92 and a half on average with his heater. So you've seen it decline in the velocity of his fastball but look in 2019 he was a very serviceable starter with the Chicago Cubs that season that year he held a 3.81 ERA a 1.391 whip 9.1 strikeouts per nine in 141 and two-thirds innings pitch now he has dealt with injuries he had the tricep injury the shoulder injury in his last season with the Atlanta Braves he only pitched three and a third innings so really a complete wash of a season in 2020 but if he's feeling good and he's healthy and he's put these injuries behind him I think he can really help this team like I said last season was a nightmare for Cole Hamels he had the left tricep tendonitis that forced him to make just one start and he also had that left shoulder fatigue so if he's put that behind him and he wants to pitch he wants to make and he wants to be a part of one last World Series run well this is the franchise to do it with and he's been nails in his career in the postseason he won the 2008 NLCS MVP and the 2008 World Series MVP. He holds a 3-4-1 ERA in 17 postseason appearances across 100 and a third innings pitch. So he knows what those moments are like and he knows that he can deliver in big spots. And another thing, Cole Hamels becomes the latest former member of the 2008 Phillies to be a Los Angeles Dodgers. Let's run down that list. You've got Cole Hamels, Carlos Ruiz, Jason Wirth, Shane Victory, Joe Blanton, Ryan Madsen, Chase Utley, and Jimmy Rollins. What? Was Ryan Howard not available? Can we get Jamie Moyer? How old is Jamie Moore at this point? I only want to look it up. He's got to be in his late 50s or early 60s at this point. But I think that Hollywood Hamels can help this team, especially if you can find a way to have a bullpen roll. That's to me the biggest thing. Yes, he could be a stopgap guy as a starter whenever he's ready, but I think his real value will be if he can get some innings in that that Dodgers bullpen because you saw what happened last night with Victor Gonzalez. What happened to V gone? What happened to the V goat? He was one of the breakout stars last year for the Dodgers in 20 and a third innings pitched. He had a 3.26 ERA plus, a 1.67 FIP, a .738 WHIP, 10.2 strikeouts per nine this season. A 1.03 ERA plus, a 4.40 FIP, 8.7 strikeouts per nine in 33 innings pitched and he was supposed to be that high leverage guy and last night he enters the game with the Dodgers trailing one to nothing in the eighth and he's supposed to keep it tight especially when you consider how cold the bats were last night and what did he do he served up a bomb to Jordan Alvarez Jordan Alvarez hit an absolute rocket shot off Vigon 115.1 miles per hour off the bat in the eighth and the Dodgers offense 
they couldn't muster any offense last night. They lose three to nothing, and it was a slider from Victor Gonzalez, and you saw that pitch just has not been effective. Last year, with that slider, opponents were hitting 63 off of it. This year, 246. So he just hasn't been effective. And last night was probably the prime example of how that slider just hasn't been as effective for him this season. He just left it right in Jordan Alvarez's nitro zone. It was begging to be smoked. And that's exactly what he did with it. So I appreciate the fact that Andrew Friedman is out here doing whatever he can to try to fix this rotation. They had the injury to Dustin May. You lose Trevor Bauer for the year. I get a lot of people ask me about Trevor Bauer nonstop. Seems like every single day and at this point you have to realize the guy hasn't pitched since early July so whatever happens it's not like he would have time to be built up into a starter anyway and then also anytime you trade for Max Scherzer and then you sign Danny Duffy and Cole Hamels and you already have Walker Buehler, Urias, you got David Price, you got Clayton Kershaw that tells you right there that the Dodgers they know who they're rolling with in the late season and in the postseason and then when it comes to Cole Hamels and Danny Duffy if they can supplement this bullpen and they can try to contribute in this pen it's going to go a long way because there's been a lot of inconsistent arms in that pen all season long and that was on display once again last night with Victor Gonzalez unable to get the job done now why has Victor Gonzalez fallen off so much this year I've heard a lot of you people tell me that it's the sticky stuff and he's not using that spider tack like a lot of pitchers well if you look at those spin rates it's not that dramatic if you look at that velo it's consistent with what it was last season the thing with Vigon is just the command isn't there this year and that is the nature of being a bullpen piece they're volatile from year to year you never know what you're going to get each year from a reliever so I love what Andrew Friedman is doing he's going all in on this season and look I just wish the bats were as aggressive and as relentless as Andrew Friedman was so I hope they turn it around tonight and when it comes to the Cole Hamill signing I definitely think it'll be something I mean he has the postseason experience and also I think that some of these bullpen are as they continue to falter, I think he will have a role with this team. But let me know down below in the comment section, do you like the signing of Cole Hamels and do you think it'll be nothing, something, or everything? I think it's going to be a cold world for the Dodgers at some point. What do you think about the Dodgers adding another member of the 2008 Phillies? Do you know Jamie Moyer? Is he down to pitch this season? Let me know. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For the latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You'll find it right over there at www.gearup.la. We just dropped a new Max Scherzer t-shirt. This one is straight fire. Definitely go cop that. And also, if you haven't yet, be sure to download Download the Dodgers Nation app for all latest Dodgers news, scores, games. You can watch the videos from there. You can read our stories. You can see our Twitter, our Instagram. Go download that app for all my iPhone and Android users. For all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.